hey guys this is Ricardo and welcome to another blog tech tips in today's tutorial guys I'm just gonna show you how to basically flash any Samsung Galaxy device this includes mainly phones it can also work on tablets as well so basically this is a all-in-one tutorial and flashing on new and older Samsung devices also this is a very easy method so if you have never flashed anything or you have never flashed a device before this tutorial should help you out requires no technical software such as holding or so on we just be using simple tools it's basically a um, click method all right so basically let's get started now the first device I'm going to show you on is a newer device which is the Samsung Galaxy um, S6 also I'll work on S7 S8 and any other newer device that is on release so basically these devices tend to have um, non-removable battery meaning you can't open the back all right to access the battery and then I'll actually show you all the devices um, such as S5 S4 S3 S2 and um, S1 and so on right so if you have any of those devices as well I'll show you a separate tutorial in this video on that all right so without further ado let's get started so with the S6 7 or 8 or above what you're gonna do for these devices is you're gonna retrieve two numbers by placing your phone in download mode so the first thing I want to do guys is to power down your phone once you power down your phone I'm just gonna wait till this power off we're gonna retrieve the IMEI number as well as the um, serial number now for the IMEI um, you can actually retrieve this from the back of your device I'm not going to show you mine it's usually printed somewhere down here in um, very fine print you can also find the model number on the back of your device in fine print for most devices otherwise you can actually um, get it when the phone is booted up but sometimes if your phone is bricked or if there's a virus or something you won't be able to access the information so just in case your device is bricked I'm just going to show you a universal method so use the method I'm going to use here all right so what we're going to do here we're going to put in um, the phone in um, download mode so basically what we're going to do guys is just hold down on um, power let's focus we're going to hold down on power volume down and the home button all right so you're just going to go ahead and hold all three and while the device boots you're going to do boot into um, download mode now as you can see on screen you can actually read this it says basically this is a method of um, loading a custom OS onto your phone or to install applications and so on so basically it says to continue hit volume up I'm not going to do that volume down to cancel and your phone will restart or home button to show your barcodes now the barcodes I'm not going to show that on screen I'm going to edit edit out my bar um, my IMEI and barcode because it's very sensitive information all right so I'm not going to actually um, show you that so we're going to go ahead here I'm just going to change the camera handle there we go and of course here what you're gonna do is gonna hit home and as you can see here I'm blurring out this you'll have your IMEI and your serial number and we're now in um, as it says here download um, mode now you're gonna record these you can actually take a pen and pencil and write down both numbers all right now again guys um, once I'm done I'm just gonna eat the home button there you go I'm now in download mode now another important thing to write down up here you'll notice in the upper left hand corner you'll have a product name that's product name and that is the model number of your device for example mine is an SM-G920T the Samsung Galaxy S6 all right so you're gonna record that number product number is the same thing as your um, um, product or device um, number so later I'm gonna use a tool called smart switch it's also in the description and also there's a tutorial on the website which all of this is just for you so basically guys you're gonna write down um, your um, product number which is basically your um, product which is this phone yours might be different all right so you're going to record that once you record that guys you're going to stop right here next we're going to switch over to the computer all right guys now that the phone is in download mode and you have gotten the information what you're going to do is you're going to download this tool i'll put a link in the description or you can go back to the website where you'll get the information and that tool is smart switch so what you're going to actually do is open your browser and as i said the link is down below 
you're gonna go and find smart switch as you can see here it says it is used to easily move data from your mobile device and so on it also has other functions so you're gonna scroll down once you scroll down here depending on your um, device if you have a Mac you can download here you're gonna hit download for Windows now I've already downloaded this so all I have to do is just download once it's downloaded you're going to go ahead and install the application is right here so we're going to go ahead and um, launch the app so once the app launches as you can see here it says welcome there's nothing connected um, do not try to connect your phone just yet if you do it will say it's unrecognized so for now we're just going to hit more and once you're on more we're going to go over to emergency software recovery and initialization you're going to tap on that you're going to wait just give it a little while and this window will pop up once it's up, pop up you're going to actually go over to the second tab over here it says um, device initialization right here and once you're here you're going to use the model number of your device from earlier and in my case that would be the um, for the Samsung Galaxy S6 you're going to enter this information right here once you know you can type it in or you can copy and paste it all right, so once you're here, so I have copied mine already, so I'm just gonna copy and paste. And as you see, my device is the SMG 920T. Make sure that the information is correct. Then, of course, you're gonna hit um, search. There you go. Next, you're gonna enter the, um, <coughs> sorry, next you're gonna enter the serial number from earlier as well. If you have it recorded, just go, go, go ahead, go ahead, sorry and enter the serial number all right so let's go go ahead and enter the serial number so again i've copied it so i'm just gonna paste and hit ok and here it gives you a warning make sure you read this says device can be initialized to its original settings all settings and data will be deleted if the software version will be installed you want to proceed um warning recovery of um your Google account is disabled device um, protection um, features. If you skip this step, you will be required to sign up for a Google account and sync it to your device. So you can go ahead and hit OK. And um, it says initialize version, it gives you a PID phone and um, it gives you some other information. It also says all settings initialize. You want to move your Google account and hit OK. Um, here we go guys it's finishing up 98 100 and here it says um, preparing components for software organization and initialization please do not disconnect the cable from the PC And this is the key part guys it says software update initial light no um start please follow the steps below to proceed with emergency um recovery all right so it says make sure that device is turned off switch device into recovery mode recovery mode i'm gonna keep this session All right, so here's where you would actually connect the device, guys. And once you connect the device, you can just go ahead, this will light up and you hit OK, and of course, from there. I will not be doing it though, considering that um, I don't want to flash my device right now, so. All right, guys, so for all the devices, and here I have a Samsung Galaxy S4, basically for flashing these devices, which usually have a removable battery, meaning you can actually open up the box. What you're gonna do, guys, is first of all, um, as I said, this work for the S5, S4, 3, 2, and 1, and so on. Note 1, Note 2, Note 3, Note 4. So basically, for those devices, first thing you want to do, guys, is as usual, you're going to um, power off the phone. Alright, you're going to hit power down. So basically, while the phone is powering down, 
you can um, pop the back off you can look for the groove or the top just to open up all right once you have opened up the back of the device guys we're going to look for some a special number again which is similar to before which is the serial number and the um well mainly the imei number right and we'll also record the serial number just in case you can actually take a peek or write this down so i'm just going to um open this up I'm not going to remove the battery just yet just adjust the camera again guys i'm going to hide the numbers or blur them out so just bear with me a second all right and if we can just come in a little closer you'll see the model number you're going to write that down you're also going to write down the imei number i'm going to blur those out because of privacy concerns you don't want people stealing your imei number so your imei as well as the model number be found here you're gonna record both of them all right so once you record both numbers next thing you do is reassemble the phone once you reassemble the phone we're gonna um, boot into download mode on this device all right so we're gonna slide the battery back in you can actually put on the back of the device here we go you snap the back on now just as before guys you're gonna hit um, power volume down you're gonna hit the home button there you go it's a slightly different but this time you notice there is no option to access the um the imei or um, serial number and so on so to save time i just showed you before remember that it's under the battery for these devices all right so we're gonna hit volume up and there you go we're in download mode and in just in case you did not get the um device or product name our, our um, product model you're just gonna look in the upper left hand corner here can be seen there this device is the GT i 9505 um, for you it will be different all right so once you record those numbers next we're gonna go back over to the computer again and I'm gonna show you what to do from there all right see you over there you're gonna um, download this keys application or keys tree so you're gonna go over to this website link in the description now what you're going to end up doing guys is that the page should look just like this you're going to come down here or similar and you're going to download keys you can download it for um, windows as you see here two versions um, you can choose either or the latest version will be best right either links or you can um, get it for uh, mac the second um, link you're going to go ahead and launch now from here it's pretty straightforward as you can see this is the interface it's very similar to smart switch so what you're gonna do guys is you're gonna go down um, go up to um, tools and you're gonna choose the second link here this one right here you gotta go ahead and click on it and of course you're gonna enter um, this screen here and of course from here it's very similar to smart switch so I won't um, extend the video or make it too long by actually going back to the process but basically you're gonna re-enter your device model number it's gonna ask for your serial number and so on you're just going to enter the information which you recorded from um, the device, the back of the device and so on. You're going to hit OK and it should find the device and of course later on it asks you to connect your phone in um, download mode or recovery mode. You're going to actually do that and of course connect the phone and from there allow it to download the firmware similar again to the first method. Alright, so we we'll won't go back through that. So guys, if you enjoyed this um, tutorial, please leave us a like. And please remember to subscribe to Squad from Block Tech Tips. Saying goodbye until next time. Goodbye.